In the spiritual banquet of today's sermon, Apostle Joshua Selman delivered a profoundly inspiring and spirit-filled teaching that not only blessed our lives, but also provided invaluable insights to navigate the intricate facets of our journey. With eloquence and divine wisdom, Apostle Selman unfolded the spiritual mysteries embedded in his teachings, unveiling layers of understanding that resonate with the core of our existence. Before we proceed, I kindly invite you to engage with this message by liking the video, sharing it with those you believe could find it beneficial, and subscribing to our channel for more insightful videos. Your support is greatly appreciated. May blessings abound as you lend your ears to this transformative message. Yes. A few years ago, I returned, I think it was from South Africa, and I had a meeting in Lagos. I was rushing to London just when COVID was about to start. And then because I finished the meeting late, um, they said I cannot, I mean, the, 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 door, the door of the aircraft is closed, and unfortunately, I cannot make it. I called the man of God and I said, I'm sorry, I may not be able to make it tonight. And he said, please, people have been expecting, and you know the way people are here, they've registered. I can have a legal case. Someone can be angry, you know, and, and so on and so forth. And I said, whoa, what do we do now? So one thing led to the other. They spoke with the, the manager and he said, okay, we'll halt everything. We'll open the aircraft for you, but you cannot come in with any luggage. Can you imagine traveling without your luggage? I would only be allowed to carry my laptop bag. And I said, but my things are there my clothes and everything and i was only going just to honor the meeting and return and i remember my protocol looking at me and i smiled i told him i said till i return and he was laughing at me because i knew already it was not only my bag i was carrying a pattern the same pattern of favor before i arrived london i'm just saying this because i'm training leaders and speaking to people before i arrived there someone had given i think over two or five thousand pounds he said i heard that apostle is coming and he's not coming with his bag here is this money let him shop whatever it is i returned back after two days with two bags and i went see no matter what you lose don't lose the pattern the assignment of a man of god is to reveal patterns to people who told you that there is no increase in asaba there may not be increase for you but there is increase everybody is a giver they are not just giving to you but they are givers under a certain condition they will give there is a pattern for power there is a pattern for increased grace there is a pattern for favor are we together now yes let me challenge you even as a man of god don't say people are not coming to my church this conference has shown you that there are still enough people available people under certain circumstances they will come the bible says where the carcasses are there the eagles will gather the knowledge of the ways of god my life changed miraculously when i found that secret today by the grace of god we do the things that we do for the kingdom on the strength of that pattern i can guarantee you that the sick will be healed today i can guarantee you that your press will be delivered it is not pride it is the excellency of the pattern i can guarantee you that the anointing of the spirit will come upon someone yes sir when i travel i travel with the patterns when i speak the patterns are by my side for someone you need to settle down and be a student of the ways of god learn what it takes to excel in your life to excel in ministry hallelujah back to the example again to the glory of god when we're about to put the conference where to put the lord gave us an instruction and this was what the lord told me number one the meeting was going to hold in a weekday if you know anything about organizing programs overseas you don't put programs in a weekday because people are always working they have bills to pay housing bills there are people doing multiple jobs so when you organize a program in the united kingdom if you have a membership of 300 members sincerely you are a great man you are doing well those guys don't go to church and now you hire the largest indoor 
auditorium in the entire united kingdom not that you have a branch there not that you are collaborating with other ministries by the instruction of the lord then you do a program on a wednesday and a thursday then the lord gave me an instruction he said there is a wrong narrative that the church the people have had about the church i want to use this meeting to correct because of that never mention money and do not collect any offering no mention of money a workforce of 2,000 people plus which is a miracle on its own if you hold a conference with 2,000 people that is a miracle plus plus and yet that is a workforce what grace brought them are we together I hope you don't think I'm bragging I'm challenging you when you understand the ways of God your life will become a living wonder it's not that you will do signs and wonders you will become the wonder yourself hallelujah to be fair and honest with you those who were responsible for the facility when they saw the number of registrations and the, the spaces were exhausted they were surprised who is this person doesn't have a church yet in um, UK where are you coming from you are not maybe a secular musician that is being promoted by you know other brands and so on and so forth where did you get the money to pay for that kind of thing and you did not beg anybody you didn't borrow from any bank you didn't collect from any loan no loan no nothing and you are not collecting offering then feeding over two thousand people there are things you don't pretend if you do not understand the ways now you may have the resources but how about the people more than 40 percent or 50 percent of the people in that auditorium they came from outside of manchester on a weekday can i tell you the ways of god turn any man to a miracle man of god don't tell me nobody wants to give me to build church <clears throat> humble yourself take responsibility there is something i have not found you call for a healing meeting and pray for the sick anybody healed come out nobody comes out and you say it's a lie you are just it's not true they, they are not healed go and get the pattern do you believe what i'm teaching you patterns for on the glory of god every time you find the pattern you have found the secret to the glory I remember when i was studying about the dynamics of the anointing i said lord i cannot go to the nations just with a message i need to understand the dynamics of your power and your glory and then the pattern came someone you are seated here right now but you see your prophetic destiny is beyond asaba but the reason why god cannot announce you is because you have not become a student of patterns if God should allow you to get to the next phase of ministry, you will not be able to rise. Hallelujah. It's like a military man who does not know how to shoot a gun. He does not know how to throw the grenade. What are you doing in the war front? You will die immediately. Even if there is no enemy, you will die yourself of incompetence. The stage is not where you learn. The wilderness is where you learn. The stage is a place of performance in this case of your assignment are we together it's important let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me spirit of wisdom rest on me listen to me i will give you one more and then we'll pray i want us to pray because i sense that there are people who need to carry something from heaven in this place even before the night 
till today I remain a student of knowledge there are many things about God I do not know there are many things about his ways I do not know I am not ashamed of admitting that I do not know my assignment is to remain a student of scripture do not let what you know stop you from knowing what you need to know first Corinthians 8 2 let's read it together first Corinthians 8 2 first Corinthians 8 2 media give it to us first Corinthians not Colossians first Corinthians 8 2 let's read one to read and if any man thinks that he knoweth anything uh-huh as he ought to know there is a standard for every result and if you have not attained unto that standard by light you cannot command that result do you believe what i'm i'm teaching you let me speak to somebody here you may be a campus fellowship president you are somebody that god do you know that the next i truly believe with all my heart that the next apostolic and prophetic move within this city some of the people who will spearhead that move are in this place sitting right now i truly believe it with my heart and don't think god cannot use you no you are not yet on tv you are not yet on the internet you are in the cave of adulam he's still working on you he brought you to this conference because there is a birthing there is an ignition there is something that he's doing in your heart if the sermons have been a source of blessing elevating your life to break every chain and inspiring you to serve god with your heart soul and body we warmly invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel by tuning on the notification bell you ensure that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos your subscription is not just a click it's a commitment to continued spiritual growth enlightenment and empowerment as we journey together in faith our channel seeks to provide a haven for spiritual seekers and believers alike we believe in the transformative power of god's word and our aim is to share messages that resonate with your soul so join our community subscribe and let the light of divine wisdom guide your path thank you for being part of this uplifting journey and may god's blessings overflow in your life amen you can follow us on all our social media handles at flaming channel also visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and God bless you.